Okay, so welcome to the first tutorial of using Love2D to create games. Uh, the game we're going to be creating today is a very simple button clicker game. And I'm just going to launch it here and show you what we're going to be making. So let's click console real quick. And this is our game, button clicker. So you can see we have a main menu, we press space to play, and a button spawns on the screen. Uh, you can see up here we have score, lives, and misses. Uh, these buttons spawn at random positions at random sizes and they shrink at a rate that is determined by how fast we're clicking these buttons you can see if i miss misses goes up uh, for demonstration purposes we currently only have one life and if we just not let it shrink to zero it will take away a life we only have one life so it's game over uh, our score was 29 and we missed six times so we can press enter to return to the main menu or space to go again so that's what we're going to be creating. Very nice, simple project for you to get started using Love2D. And before we do that, uh, we actually have to go ahead and install Love2D and Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to leave the link in the description to Love2D and VS Code. You can go ahead and download and install that for whatever system you're using and whatever architecture. Uh, again, I'm not going to show you how to install these, but I will link videos down below if you are having trouble. But it's a pretty simple installer just download it and run the installer all the way through as well as vs code again pretty simple installer download install job done uh, once you've installed these it's actually time to get creating our project so uh, i'm gonna actually just bring over a window of vs code here now you can see my vs code is white yours is probably going to look a lot different i just like it um with this white theme because it makes it easier for me to read um, but I'm going to show you some extensions that we can get to make programming in Lua and Love2D a lot easier so if you go to the left here you see there's uh, you know the explorer you can search for files but if we come down to the extensions here or it's control shift and x to open it so control shift x just open the extensions these are all the extensions I have installed now you don't need all of these some of these do different things that aren't related to love to do in Lua, but the main ones you're going to want uh, is um, the love 2d support so just go ahead and search up there love 2d support and install it the love launcher if you're on windows um, and that will allow you to launch your project from visual studio code using the alt l hotkey and Lua uh, so the Lua language server coded by Lua and Lua plus so they're the really the four there that I recommend you get so Lua plus Lua, Love2D support and Love2D launcher. If you want my theme that I'm running right now, uh, it's Noctis, so N-O-C-T-I-S. And the theme I have here is the this one here. So you see it comes with a bunch of different themes. There's like um, you know, dark themes and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. But I run this one up here. Okay, so now that we've got the basics out of the way, let's actually go into how to create our project. So to create a project in Lua, we have to create a folder. Okay, a folder is going to contain all of our stuff that we're going to use to, um, you know, all of our code that we're going to run inside of our Love Engine. So to do that, we just create a folder anywhere. It doesn't matter where you create it. It can be in documents, wherever. Okay, it's just where you're going to store all of your files. So I'm going to create mine on desktop. Create a new folder. I'm going to call this uh, Button Clicker DQ. Uh, like that so button clicker developers quest you can call it anything you want it really doesn't matter but now we've got this file we need to open it into the side of vs code so i'm going to go ahead and do that now so file open a folder and open the folder we just created button clicker dq and now vs code will go ahead and open that file now we need to create a set of files that Love2D looks for when it tries to run. And the biggest one is main, our main file where uh, it's going to be the entry point for our code, where it's going to look through. And this file will tell our program what to run and how to run it. So to do that, we're just going to create a new file. I'm going to press Control N to create a new file. And I press Control Shift S to save as, or you can just go to file and save as. And I'm going to call this main.lua. Now, VS Code is intelligent enough to recognize that this is a Lua file. 
and it's created it inside of our button clicker DQ folder. So if you installed the Love Launcher plugin, you can now press Alt L to launch uh, Love 2D. You can see mine comes with a console, yours won't, but don't worry about that, we're not going to be using it. Um, and yeah, so it launches our projects. Now, if you're running Mac or Linux or anything like that, um, and you that, that might not work, I'm not sure if that plugin works on Mac or you know Linux, uh, you can just find, oh sorry, I closed Visual Studio Code. Okay, anyway, you can find your Love extension or your Love shortcut, sorry, and you can just drag the folder into the shortcut and boosh, it will launch. There we go. So I just need to open up that folder again. Let's go file folder. Uh, if I click a DQ, select folder. There we go. So there's our main lure, main .lua file. But now we're going to go in and tell this window, um, you know, what it should do. So, you know, the first thing we probably need to think about is how big do we want our window? And we can do that by initializing some variables. So I like to come down a couple of lines on to maybe like line four, uh, create a comment by doing that and then just type in uh, window uh, params like that. And we're going to create two variables, one for the window width and one for the window height. So I'm going to create them first and then I'll explain why I've created them like I have. So let me just create the uh, window underscore width. Uh, we're going to make that 800 and uh, window heights and uh, make that 600. Very common resolution right there. Uh, window width and window height. Um, so the reason we created, use this local keyword, local basically defines the scope of this variable. Now we're only really going to be using it in main.lua. We aren't going to be making really any other file. So we don't really need to, to declare it as local, but it's, it's, it's good practice too. So local means that this variable is only going to be accessible within this main.lua file. If we took away that local keyword, so if I take it away from window.height, if I was to later on create another file, say main2 or, you know, game manager.lua, and it for some reason needed to access this window height, it could because it, this is what is now a global variable. Um, however, if we put the keyword local in front of it, I couldn't access it because this variable is only um, able, sorry, it's only, uh, you can only access it within this main.lua file. So the local variable the defines the scope of sorry the local keyword defines the scope of this variable god i can't talk today i uh, see so yeah, we've created the window width and window height now there's three main functions that love 2d looks for and that is uh love.load love.update and love.render so let's go ahead and create them uh, so we're going to create them now by typing function uh, function love dot load just like that so whenever you create a function, you type the keyword function, you type the name of the function you're going to create. Uh, in this case, it needs to be love.load because this is what love looks for when it first loads the program, followed by uh, open close brackets and then at the end, end. Uh, so now we need to create the next function, which is update. So uh, function love.update. And then we're going to pass in uh, to a one word called uh, sorry, two letters, DT. Um, and I'll explain what DT does in a minute, which you end. And then the last one is love.draw. Um, there, okay, so. Uh, I also like to put a comment always above these and just call this main uh, functions, like that. Uh, so love.load is called as soon as we launch our application. Love.update is called constantly, and so is love.draw. So update is where we're going to do a lot of the logic because this happens every frame, and draw is where we're going to do all of our drawing uh, to the screen. Now you notice in love.update there is uh, dt, so we've passed in dt, or in fact this passes, you know, love.update passes out dt, so this dt will contain a value. Um, but what that is basically is if we could imagine every single frame, it's called in love.update. So every single frame our game's updating. So if we just kind of visualize this, imagine these are frames, right? 
So that, so that's a frame. So it updated, it updated, it updated, it updated, and it updated. DT is basically the time between our current frame, which would be this end one, and the last frame. So the time it took from our last frame to our current frame. And that might not make a lot of sense, but it does come in uh, handy later, and I'll explain it a little bit more. Okay, so now we've made the main functions, we actually need to tell um, Love2D what to do with our window. So we need to tell uh, Love2D how to set, or oh, sorry, to set our window width and window height. So to do that in our load function, uh, I'm going to just create a comma in. I'm going to say um, set up, I can't type today, uh, set up, Jesus, uh, the window. God, I'm rusty. Uh, set up the window, just like that. No, not window width. Uh, and then we're going to call a method called love dot window dot set mode. So if you look on the right here, it's uh, same set mode. It contains a width, a height, and flags. Uh, and it says the flags are a table with the options, and it gives you a whole list of options that we can use uh, in our game window. The only ones we're, we're going to focus on is the width, the height and uh, full screen, resizable, and vsync. So let's set mode. So it asks for a width and height, right? We already created that, so we can just say uh, window width, comma, window height. And now it takes in these flags. So we need to do another comma, and it says it's a table. So a table in Lua is simply just defined using uh, the two curly brackets like that. So I could say like, uh, if I was to create, a, say a ball, I could say ball, is equal uh, to a table. Now, a table basically contains information. So I could say like ball dot x is equal to 100, right? And that piece of information is stored in that table. Uh, so that's basically what a table is. So in order to, you know, change the values here, we have to first open up the table. So go like that, create a curly bracket. I'm going to press enter here just to make it a bit more readable. And now you remember those flags that were there before. So there was full screen, vsync, and resizable are the three main ones that we're focusing on. So first off, just type full screen uh, equals false, comma. And you don't have to do this, but I'm going to press enter each one just to make it a bit more readable. Uh, we're going to say resizable uh, equals false and v. Uh, sync if I can type today equals true just like that so we set our window to our window width to our window height we've declared that we don't want full screen we don't want it to be resizable but we do want vsync so now if I actually run the program um, all of these everything we just set um, will be having running. I can see our window sizes hasn't changed because 800 by 600 is the default so if I just demonstrate this by changing that to 1 to 80 by 720, so let's make it 720p, run the program, boom, 720p, just like that. Uh, so let's put that back to 600, put that back to 800, just like that. So that sets up the window, just like that. The next thing we're probably going to need to do is set the window title. So if I launch it again, oops, sorry, we should launch it again. Um, just get rid of the console. You can see the window title is untitled. So we can set that simply by just going below that method that we just called. And again, we're going to be accessing window, the love window. So we're just going to say uh, love.window.setTitle. And it takes in a string. Now you can define a string by simply using the quotations, or you can just use um, those little ones down there. I like to use them just because easy on the keyboard and then pressing shift and two um so yeah love the window set title takes in a string and the string can be uh a button i don't know button clicker by at developers quest there we go okay so now if i run the program uh, it, you can see it's changed the title, so button clicker by at the developer's quest. And that's our window set up. So the next part, what we're going to do is we're going to actually cover drawing uh, to the screen using the love.draw function. I'm going to create our buttons and our score text and whatnot. 
But I'm just going to quickly comment out this here. So set the window title. I don't know why I can't type there. I think it's just because I got a giant microphone in my face. Uh, let's set the uh, set window title. So that's our window is now set up. So again, in the next part, we're going to draw to the screen, and I'm going to show you some more cool things.